Hello YouTube, thank you for watching my channel uh, Cell Medicine on YouTube where we discuss different aspects of stem cells and their clinical and theoretical uses. Now many of you have asked me about the different kinds of stem cells uh, in order for, to make the videos clearer. So I'm going to tell you really quickly, there's two main types of stem cells. The first stem cell is CD34, hematopoietic stem cells. The second type is called mesenchymal stem cells. Now, let's talk about CD34. CD34 stem cells are the cells primarily responsible for making new blood cells. This was the first kind of stem cell discovered. It was discovered in the 1960s by my friend Dr. McCulloch, who you see me in the picture with, and Till. And these cells were subsequently found to be responsible not only for making blood cells, but also to have an um, ability to heal different types of injured tissue. And this is why today, in 2007, there's already published reports, clinical reports from patients um, who have been treated with CD34 cells from diseases ranging from heart failure to, um, to the liver disease, cirrhotic liver disease, and which have shown some benefit. So, again, the first type of stem cell is called CD34, and they primarily make blood, but they're also involved in helping tissue to repair itself. The second type of stem cell is called the mesenchymal stem cell. Now, these cells, they do not make blood, so they're not hematopoietic, but what they do is they are involved in helping the hematopoietic cells, helping CD34 cells make blood, but also they have the ability like CD34 is to heal injured tissue. Uh, mesenchymal stem cells are being right now used in the United States by a variety of companies, the effort being led by Osiris Therapeutics, who is in phase three of clinical trials, which means is the last phase before approval, and they're using these cells for Crohn's disease and treatment of graft versus host. Now, so we said there's two main types of cells. Now, where are these cells found? Well, let's talk about the four major compartments where stem cells are taken. Uh, in the bone marrow, in the bone marrow one can find CD34 hematopoietic cells, of course, and mesenchymal cells, but at low concentrations. This is the same in cord blood. Cord blood contains CD34 cells. This is why sometimes you may have heard of the cord blood transplant. Primarily these are uh, performed for people who do not have a, a match, an HLA match. Uh, to make new blood cells. So, and also cord blood has the, um, the mesenchymal stem cells. And besides these two main sources, there's also placental matrix, which is known to be very rich in mesenchymal stem cells, and also adipose tissue. And adipose tissue is very convenient because you can use your own adipose tissue and just by a simple liposuction, and adipose tissue contains primarily mesenchymal stem cells. So the bottom line, two main types of stem cells, CD34, which make blood, and mesenchymal stem cells, which do not make blood. Both of these stem cells are involved in helping the body to repair itself. And um, in the bone marrow, you have CD34 and mesenchymal. In the cord blood, CD34 and mesenchymal. In the, in the placental matrix, you primarily have mesenchymal, and in the adipose tissue, you primarily have mesenchymal. Thank you very much.